I thought about something, but I cannot say it's inappropriate. God has to make it sweet so that recreation will be interested to you. I just go, you're being taken two steps back and five steps forward, like I just go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Elo. Elo, the flow. Anybody sicker? Anybody better? Anybody better? And the three interesting things about me: I like food, I love gaming, and I am in the best relationship of my life. Aww. How about that? My stage name is the Last Dragon of Asgard, and I'm about to spit fire as per dragon. You understand? In case you're looking at this toothpick, it's not just prop. You understand? This is a practical instrument. I used to remove the the bone and the flesh of my eaters, and I'm ready to sink. Let's go. Shege. Hey, if someone show you Shege, that is the end of your life. You understand? <laughs> because it's bad. No, but no, let's be serious. Uh, Shakpa is basically a term that means uh, suffering, essentially, and hardship. Right? And everybody have gone through a situation with Sakpa. So people, Sakpa raised up his sleeve like this and beat them, he tortured them. By the time Sakpa was through with them, they all stood to make it in life. Do you understand? So shout out to everybody who's encountered Sakpa and has survived. If Sakpa show you Shege, that is a different kind of uh, angle. Because if, if you have Sakpa alone, it's different. When you now have Sakpa and Shege, Hey, if you see Shaker, you can always zero it again. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Shout out to Jude OC, by the way. Uh, but yeah, so uh, when you hear Sakpa, just that's just what comes to mind, hardship. Um, but I mean, it, it's part of life. Everybody has to go through hardship, and at some point, you have to work hard to get yourself out of that hole, so yeah. <laughs> Which kind of beast be this? Ah, uh, it's Elo, the last dragon of Asgard on the beat. Singing about Sakba. Let's go. Shout out to all my homies in the streets that are doing it big right now. It's not easy to get here. Respect. Let's go. Okay, Sakba hits me so hard. I thought I want to jack back. But after thinking, I say my talent can help me rise in this indoor street. So, you know what I do? I invest in myself so that I can face Sakba. And I will not need to jack back, eh? I'm making it big, doing it loud. Hello with the flow in here, doing it proud. Making Nigeria so happy. I put my face on the mic. Hey, I'm spitting nonsense. I'm singing bullshit. But guess what? You are loving it. You are dancing. And to all the ladies who didn't believe in me right now, well, deuces. Hey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's not easy to be a rapper. <laughs> Yes, because I jack my throat. <laughs> you hold me. I was say you. I will not let you go. <laughs> and I will tell you, I say, leave me. Let me let, because <laughs> let me tell you something. See, let's be serious. I know that we are playing around. But if you have experienced what original Sakpa means, Jonathan, if you have experienced that kind of, when you are sitting inside balls and then you shake your pocket and the guy next to you have used his hand to remove your last 1K and you have not paid conductor yet <laughs> and you have formed your accent, you cannot say, oh, why? You say, oh, can I say, oh, why? <laughs> By the time there is to collect money, <laughs> <laughs> and you see the colorful face with the three tribal mark like this. <laughs> oh, the answers will change. So yeah, um, but honestly, it's Nigeria is a country where we're all survivors. And to everybody who's been able to come up from the street, not even from the street, wherever you've been able to come up from and survive to the point where you are, honestly, shouts to you. And like, I hope you continue to do your best to survive. You know, this this country that we we love so much. Yeah. Okay, uh, sex. Um, well, to be honest, anybody that says sex is overrated, you know that they have not enjoyed sex in their life before. <laughs> because if I enjoy good sex, you will not say it's overrated. Uh, at the base of it, sex is basically um, something that every, and it's not just human being, because animals used to have sex too. Do you understand? <laughs> so you just know. But it's, uh, it's a process for recreation. But God has to make it sweet so that the creation will be interested to you. Because imagine a woman that carries a shy for nine months, then the process to carry that shy is not sweet. Do you understand? That, that is where we have issue. Um, I mean, to be honest, not to sound ignorant, there's IVF and there's surrogate moms, so that sex is not the only way to get pregnant. But basically, my views on sex is it's one of the best things ever created by God for man to enjoy. And by man, I mean man and woman. Before, before you come for me and say, I say man. <laughs> now only man, they enjoy says man and woman. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's overrated. I think it's the best, I think it's one of the best things ever to happen to any human being. 
But if you if I have not enjoyed it correctly, I see my Khalifa dancing in the back. If you have not enjoyed it correctly, that's why you say it's overrated. Do you understand? But yeah, it's what it is. Did you just go? Oi. One time for all my man them who hate sex. I don't understand your beat. But let's go. Okay. Okay. Check this out. Check this out. I was sitting in my house thinking, ooh, this girl coming over. Ooh, she my bestie. Ooh, and she got a body. Ooh, she came to the house. Yeah, I was ready. Yeah, I don't shave the day before, so really, I was ready. Yeah, then she pulled out her pants. I said, damn, we're doing this. Her ass looks so fat. I said, damn, we're doing this. She said, baby, I'ma show you a good time. I said, honey, let's go. I'm ready for a good time. So she went down to me, but it was nasty. My pussy be like mouth, where it gets it. It was nasty. I didn't enjoy it, I wasn't feeling it. I said, stop, stop, get off me. Sex is overrated, so stop, stop, get off me. <laughs> I'm in love with the flow, stop. Last dragon of Asgard, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everything that I say is lie. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, um, I don't know. I've never experienced something like that. Sex for me has always been great, so I don't know. Huh. Right now what I'm doing, being uh, uh, an OAP on 88.5 UFM and being a TV presenter on one of the biggest platforms in the world, it's as close to my dream job as it gets. My dream job is to become a director eventually, and I'm working my way there, but on the, on the road there, I've, I've landed a lot of jobs that I never thought I'd get to, and every time, the first thing I did, majority of the time for each job, was to call my folks, especially my mom. Because one thing about my mom is she would, she would tell me, like if I tell her, oh, mommy, I'm chasing this, she'd tell me, don't worry, you'll get it, I've prayed. And my mother, if you pray for something, oh. It don't matter whether they cause you in your village, whether they wash your head with sponge. You know those kind of sponge that look like a potty and they used to scrub people's head? It don't matter. If my mommy pray for you, you will receive your miracle. So the first person I always call is my mom. Um, to just be like, yo, I got it. And my mom is always, she's, she's never faced. She's always like, I told you when you get it now. What, you don't believe in your mother? You know, um, so she asked my mom. And what I always do also is when I get my first paycheck, I always flex. Always flex. Whether it's, whether it's to buy food, it's always food shop because I love food. Whether it's to buy food, go out, you know, I always flex. When I get my first paycheck from any job, so yeah. My new track called, it's a rap. Did you just go? Give it to me one time. It's a rap. It's a rap. <laughs> it's a rap. It's what I said. Hey, it's a rap. Hey, it's a rap. Hey, okay, let's go. So I got a call from Hollywood. They say, Mr. Illo, come down to Hollywood. We want you to make a movie that shows the world what heaven looks like right here in Hollywood. I said, yes, sir. I'm the best, sir. I will kill it. I'm the best, sir. So I pulled up on set with my goons and we made a good movie. Hey, this is a big puff, is me? Last time I'm got the big and I'm not your big, I just go. I just go, your big take two step back and five step forward, like I just go. Um, actually, my second would be my favorite. Ironically, Sex is Overrated would be my favorite because I just could beat put me off. I thought my dream job would be my favorite, but um, so yeah. And if I was to feature any asses on Sex is Overrated, who would I feature? I feature Kanye West. It looked like that he didn't really used to enjoy sex when <laughs> when he started his career. Yay! So you know, um, no. But seriously, if I was to feature any artist on that, a proper bar spitter like Drake. Cause I know he used to say, you know, he's this ladies man, da, 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 da. but I have a feeling that Drake is bad in bed. I just have a, I just have a, a feeling Continue. that he's not so good as he, as he likes to think that he is. So, Drake, yeah. Uh, as always, I rate myself 100 over 10 because I'm too hot to handle because I'm the last dragon of Asgard. Thank you very much. Round of applause, please. I want to hear it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm other than fire. Uh, but yeah, to all the fans out there watching, you can rate your boy, you know, it's over 10, but you can go to 100, 1,000, 1 million, 1 billion, 1 zillion, 1 trillion, as far as you want to go. Just write it there in the comment section.
quite simple. I'm in love with the flow and nobody's sicker. I'm killing this beat and nobody spitter. I'm sick with it, ain't nobody better. Last time you saw a guy that's fly, it was back in 1980. Yeah, I'm so good, I'm so fly, I'm so fresh. You know it, your mama love me, your daddy love you, your grandparents love me, and I'm the best to ever do it, yeah. Thank you very much for coming to my TED Talk, hope you had a fun time, and don't forget to subscribe and like Ultima NG, and keep listening to 88.5 UFM. I'm on Saturday and Sunday in the morning. Morning run and gathering, peace.